Hey guys, so I am, I'm not back. Um, I needed to hop on, answer some questions and at least do that for you while I take a time out. I'm not gonna be filming again for a while. I have some pre-filmed stuff I might put up because, um, you know, I've always said that I want my channel to be like an escape and like, you know, a good place to play with makeup and fun stuff like that. And I still want my channel to be that. But right now, um, you know, I need to take a time out. And all of this has been way, 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 way bigger than I think anyone could have ever imagined. And when you think of the number of subscribers that I have and like big videos that I've had in the past talking about controversial issues, they uh, never in a million years would I think that this situation would reach what it did. And I've just been at home reflecting on all of this. And really when I made that video, I, I thought that I would be the one that would take the hit. You know, I thought I was going against, you know, millions and millions of subscribers and that my separate part of the internet, you know, my 5 million, cause like, this is how crazy this has gotten, um, would be affected and that I would be the one losing subscribers for speaking up and that I was going against someone with a lot more power. And I knew that farewell and I knew this would cause a lot of controversy. I, I know that, um, but I didn't think it would get to this magnitude. I didn't think it was possible. And I wanna share with you guys that I do really want the hate to stop. I want the picking sides and the abusive memes and the language and all of that, I really hope on both sides it can stop. That's not why I made the video. And I feel like I wanted to share with you guys why I did. This was really a wake up call and it was me trying to reach someone who I found completely unreachable. And I had been trying to deliver the same message so many times because this wasn't just about one thing. And I think a lot of you guys understand that. And the things that are being zeroed in on with whether it's just about me and my business and a betrayal, or if it's really just like the allegation of the guy in Seattle. And the thing is, it's about a lot. And it's about a lot that I didn't even talk about. It's about someone who reaches across all platforms, 30 million people that are children, dominantly children, and who is losing the ability to get honest more and more each day. I'm losing the ability to reach and say, hey, like, I, I don't have a contract with you. I'm not your manager. I don't earn from you. I'm not taking anything from you. I am your friend and I've watched you from, you know, your infancy here on YouTube to what it's become. And like, I care about you and I think that you're in a lot of trouble and you need to stop behaving this way because it's gonna go real bad if you don't. And to have it be just kind of like shrugged off and laughed about is not okay. And then I really feel the last straw for me was the way I was treated and our relationship was treated um, with just zero respect. You know, it was all all on his terms. And, and that showed me that really there was never gonna be any getting through face-to-face -face on the phone, any of that. And this was just a last ditch effort for me to be really loud and vocal and to wake up someone that I really love and still do um, before they go and make some really serious mistakes. And I sat and I was like weighing pros and cons of like, okay, well, like he's doing this, 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 like no one's really stopping him. No one's going to get through to him. Like what this is like going to end badly. And then I will have to sit for the rest of my life and feel like I never said anything. So what you guys need to know is that there were a ton of private conversations and and they've been ongoing. It's been touch point for a long, long time. And the sequence of, you know, from my birthday, to now, like that was the last like isolated event that really made me go, eh, like it's, it's, it's time to grow up. Like you're not, you're gonna be 20 very soon. Like you're not a child and you're behaving as an adult, you know, with your own home and your career. Like you need to step into being an adult and being held accountable. So I did what I did. Um, I want you guys to know I don't hate James Charles. I don't want you guys hating on him. I can't even go online right now. It's painful to watch someone that you have cared about be dragged and to know that this all started because of me. And I don't think anyone deserves that. I just don't. I think people deserve a wake up call and I think people need to be called out for their actions. And I think someone's got to do it. 
And I hope that this inspires conversation for more parents to talk to their kids because we're losing that. Like we're, we're out of touch with what they are watching and what they are emulating and that's a big button for me. And I think there's behavior there that's dangerous, but I, you know, the story spun in so many different directions with words that I never used. I was trying through YouTube to meet with James tonight. It is Wednesday when I'm filming this. And I wanted to meet in person in a safe space at one of the Google offices and just try to talk through things. Um, I still feel like I need distance from, I feel like I need distance from the relationship and I, I don't think it will be repaired, but I wanted the opportunity um, I wanted, <sighs> fuck. I had wanted the opportunity to face to face, tell him that I don't hate him and I love him. And I don't think he'll get that for a really, really long time. And I don't think anyone will. And um, I don't, I don't, I don't want you guys to subscribe. I don't want you to feel bad for me. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. This is not about me. Like this whole thing is not about me. Um, it's something else. It's something bigger. And I don't need, I don't need Team Tati. I don't need any of that. But from multiple conversations of things that I've heard and from things that have been shared with me from my community and things that have been happening, like it's respect, honesty, and um, behaving in a way that I just do not agree with. And I think that uh, someone owed him to say something because I, I think that, I think the message was heard. I just want you guys to know that there is no celebration in what's happening. And if I could give all of the new success back and the new subscribers back, I would. Um, I, that's not why I did this. I'm gonna do what I can to move into happier times and to bring you guys the content that you deserve. This is not a normal thing for me. Um, you've been with me for long enough, a lot of you, to know that I stay in my lane and I don't, I don't, I don't really go anywhere. <laughs> like I don't go on brand trips or to events or mingle in my community and I just kind of stay here and I play with makeup and I do my thing and I love it and that means the most to me and the people in my life mean more than anything. And um, I pray that we can all kind of go through this storm together and, and end up on the other side, James included. I don't think his career is over. I don't think he's canceled. I think he needs some help and I, I think he needs better people around him. And I know I will never be that person again. I guess the big thing that I wanted to share is, and I've said this so many times in the past and and I'll say it again, like, you know, when, when someone is called out on their crap, you know, they can do a few different things. They can, you know, change and make a great comeback and really look at what they're doing that's not right and fix it. Um, and that's all I hope for. I am going to focus on my family and my husband and the people around me that know me and that know my heart. My family's being contacted by the media. That's never happened. I was offered to do interviews and if I really wanted to take him down and ruin him and cancel James Charles, I would have been at every studio and I would have been sharing every little detail that I could and just know that I didn't. I, I think that we owe it to James to let him figure it out and heal. And I hope that he does that and I hope he seeks out people that have his best interest and not just people on his payroll because you need that and you deserve that and you need to be guided. Like I'm afraid to come across like I know it all and that I'm like Miss Little Miss Perfect because I, I don't know it all and I fuck up all the time, okay? And I was talking to uh, a spiritual advisor and, and 
talking and it's, you know, made clear to me, like, we're, we're all the same. And like, I need to have love for, for everyone. And, you know, and I hope that that's my message. And like with James Charles, we like, we need to love him. Like we need to be able to call people out and get them to like, wake up to what's wrong and right. But also give them the chance to figure that out. This has all just gotten really, really crazy. And I, um, I don't want it to just go away and be dusted under the rug, but I do want to move through this and I do pray that he moves through it and that he one day, not now, it won't happen now, but I hope that one day he'll look back and be able to acknowledge that this was from a good place. I really, really hope that you guys see that this is a cut that is much deeper than vitamins. And I felt defensive because I was hearing people say that there was a story about me and it was just too much all at once and I did get defensive and um, I'll defend the things that I believe in and the things that I know I'm doing the right way. I'll do that all day, every day. I love what I do here too much to not suck it up and sit back down here and keep filming. Just please don't name call in my name. Encourage people to do the right thing. Encourage people to change for the better. Look at yourself and do better. Like I try to do that all the time. It doesn't mean you're gonna get it right all the time, but like that's the better way to go than just to enjoy and take pleasure in someone's downfall. I don't think anything good comes from that. I just don't. Um, I feel like a very public conversation was had between myself and James Charles, and I'm sad that it had to get to that, um, but he did, he did publicly apologize. And I'm just hoping that we can leave it at that and close this up and that people can drop this and move forward and let some actual healing happen. And I'm gonna take a solid time out and reflect. And I'm thinking about everything, just so you know, like I'm thinking about everything. I think a lot of people have opinions and they watch our community and maybe that's why, but I didn't think it would go down like this. And I've been unable to really look at much. There will be new videos soon. They were pre-filmed, um, so know that and know that I'm taking a time out and I'm, I'm just needing to not be on social media because it's a really dark place for me right now and I need to figure out um, what my next move is for me, spiritually for me, and what this means to me because if it's all about money, I don't want to do it. Shoot, you know, wow, the internet is the only place where if you cry too much, you're a victim, and if you suck it up and power through, you're a bitch, and I'm just trying to find the middle. I'm sorry for making some of you feel so heavy, and if you feel disappointed in me and you don't understand, that's okay too. You know, it's okay. Try to find a way through this with love and compassion, and try to find compassion for for all sides, you know? I can't say this enough, I love James Charles. I loved him from the moment I met him. I don't know, he was like this underdog kid that everybody took a shit on. Like that's how I felt for a long time. So I felt like I needed to help him somehow. Like I need to help him like it was helping me. I know a lot of people are not gonna understand. And a lot of people think this is fake or that they think that there was this like big agenda or anything and there's not. So yes, I'm hurting, but so is James. It's so is our community and a huge audience. And I guess I just pray that we can all like be kind with each other through this. And I'm gonna take a time out and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna continue to play with makeup because it makes me the happiest. And I promise you, I'm gonna hold myself to an even higher standard because this is forcing me to really look at like what 
really matters? And is working so much really worth it? And is, is doing all this at such a speed really worth it? You know? So there's just a lot changing and I'm so grateful for this whole journey because it's made me a better person. Like I owe that to YouTube and I owe that to you guys. So I hope that James takes the time out too and that he addresses things within himself and understands the power that he has because this power that we have here on this platform can change lives. But I love you guys so, so much. Thank you um, for listening to me through all of this heaviness. It's not going to stay this way forever. You know, storms are storms. Temporarily, they pass. And they help us to appreciate when we're not experiencing a storm, you know. So I love you guys. And I miss you. But I'm going to go be with myself for a minute. And... And be back and, and get back in it full force. So thank you so, so much. Please be kind. I love you. And I'll see you guys soon.